I'm Michael John McCullough Jr. I'm Michael John McCullough Jr. <laughs> Vow to never eat your leftovers without asking first. <laughs> Vow to never eat your leftovers without asking first. <laughs> I promise to always leave the seat down. I promise to always leave the seat down. And lastly, I will clean out the sink when I'm done shaving. <laughs> and I will clean out the sink when I'm done shaving. Please join me in raising a glass for the happy couple. We love you. Mel, you are the most beautiful soul. You are so caring, loving, and most of all, accepting and supportive. And I think we all know that. Um, your laugh is contagious, but the sound of your voice is even sweeter. And Mike, I remember the first time we met <laughs> at Mystic Pizza. <laughs> um, you listened to Mal and I nonstop chat and you weren't bothered at all by our nonsense. In fact, I could tell you really took in what we were saying, you cared about it, and you genuinely offered your perspective, which I really valued and I really admire that about you. I'm a man of few words other than tonight. But um, <clears throat> when it comes to you, you know, words don't seem to be enough to say just how proud I am to call you my daughter. And anytime I feel that I never do anything right in my life, I just look at you and I know I'm wrong. Michael always told us growing up to not expect him to bring someone home until he was sure it was the girl he would marry. Most people are nervous to introduce their significant other to their parents. For my brother, he was nervous to introduce her to me. <laughs> I never grew up with a sister, so I did not take to that idea lightly. The minute we met Mallory, I think we can all agree that she already felt like family. The love between the two of you was so evident that day and every day since. Mallory became the sister that I am so happy that I have. My prayers have been, you know, for you to find a true love. And my sweet, I believe you have done just that. So here we go. I wish you a lifetime of happiness and know that I'll always be here for you. You have always seen my, been my little princess, but it's now time to be a queen and you couldn't have picked a better king. Mike and Mal, when you joined yourself to Christ Jesus, you were cleansed and you were forgiven and you became a new creation in Him. And now the same creative power that joined you with Jesus to make Him your Lord is entering into your lives once again. And it in His own special creative way, He is taking two people two individuals, and making them one in this moment. the Lord. I promise before the Lord to honor, honor and cherish you. To honor and cherish you. As God enables me. As God enables me. I will provide for you. I will provide for you. But most importantly. But most importantly. I will love you forever. I will love you forever. I love you, Michael. And I have longed for this day. I have longed for this day. I pledge myself to you. I pledge myself to you. 
I reaffirm my faith in Christ. I reaffirm my faith in Christ. We will now claim one another with a kiss. Mallory, since she was a little girl, has always brightened our lives. Um, she never could remember to turn any lights off. I just wanted to say that I know that Stephen would be so proud of the man that you chose to be your husband. And he definitely would have written a better speech than me. <laughs> so let's raise a glass to Mike and Mal. And I'm so happy that my best friend found her best friend. The two of you have a love that is happy, <laughs> peaceful, and so much fun. I can only hope to find a love like yours myself one day. Um, we've been through a lot together, and I'm so honored to be by your side on the day that we've always dreamed of and used to play dress up about. This time, it's real people instead of 300 Barbie dolls. <laughs> Over the last few years, I've seen him grow into an incredible person who has worked on bettering himself and becoming the person we all knew he could be. And the biggest factor in that is you, Matt. Now, it's been said that daughters marry a similar man to their father. Tina, why do you look so upset? <laughs> <laughs> 